This is the TCM MRC UR26 Mermaid 220. In this video, I'm going to tear this thing down, uh, taking it all apart. So all the bolts, all the plates, all the standoffs, uh, desoldering the ESC, taking out the motors, and uh, just to inspect everything and also understand how it's put together and then rebuild it. So, my name is Dan Pham. Let's get into it. All right, so there you have it. Uh, I've just torn down the uh, UR26 Mermaid 220. Uh, so what we have here is the top plate, of course. Uh, over here, we have the ESE of the soldered. The four motors, this is the bottom plate, I think, uh, as part of the bottom plate as well, this one. These wedge these arms together. Um, as you saw, you might have seen, um, these press nuts aren't really pressed in to the carbon fiber but I guess it's okay. It kind of clamps it all together on the arms. Uh, there isn't a key that locks these together. I think the ends of these corners of the arms lock together. And over here, we have the flight controller, which we will be using, the VTX. There you go. It is a Cyclone XF5804 Pro. Looks like a V1.3, I think I can read on that. Uh, the antenna, the standoffs are still inside it. I thought I'd just leave it in there, it was easier. Uh, the camera over here, this was mounted the wrong way, so it was jammed in there quite good. Uh, hard to get out, but uh, hopefully I can put it back in, uh, in the right orientation so that it's not wonky or wobbly in any way. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully that would work. Uh, so there you have it, the whole thing torn down. I hope you liked the video, hope it helped. If anyone else has this frame and would like to know how it's put together, uh, in the next video, I'll start putting it all back together with the newer ESE and also um, all the other components as well. Um, a few of the bolts in here were not tightened uh, enough, so I'll be tightening them up good. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.